I mean, I knew it was gonna come, but I didn't think, I didn't think hate was gonna be so big in, in my like journey and stuff like that. Just cause I felt like the stuff I put out was so positive and I don't, like I don't react to stuff on the court usually. Like I don't really do much that would trigger someone to hate me, but hey, they, st they still came and uh, the haters, you know, at, 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 at the beginning, it definitely got to me a bit. You know, I had to stop like looking at comments and stuff, but now I'm kind of used to it, just getting used to all this stuff. But yeah, hate was definitely something I didn't really expect because I, you know, I thought everything I put out was just positive. And... Hey, yo, where Nick at? Back there in the cut. Y'all not, not on my level, man. It's healthy, man. Health is wealth, man. You know I mean? Beat chips. And then also we got the okra chips, bro. Y'all not about it, man. We're really different out here, man. Y'all not doing this. Y'all don't want to be great. Yeah, pass you one out, bro. Yeah, here. Uh, what are you trying to eat? Jared, have one. Bro, I try one, bro. Dude, do it for the documentary, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. We gotta go in there and ask him if we could use it like for a tour. And like, act like it's, no, it's, it's like our, ours. But don't tell him that, Nick. Dude, this serious? looks just like it. Dude, it is. It's the one. No, it, it's not. It's kind of they're not. They're not letting that this in. So should we tell him something different? No, I mean we can just walk there. It's just oh. this way, right? Well, says, what are we gonna do? No, it says. I don't know what's going on right now. We in the heart of LA, man. We on Melrose, man. It's crazy out here. All the stores, man. We're too broke to shop at them, but one day, man. What? You ain't never seen someone have the floss on them, bro? Come on now, man. The smile is everything, bro. Look, I got a hundred dollars, I mean, a million dollar smile, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro, for real. Don't get it. I'm thinking about getting Don't this. Don't get it. Please, you already have half of it. That's like a little this trash longer. baggie. That's the whole point <laughs> of it, it's crop. I mean, it was only 750, ma. Yeah. Oh. Shut up. Nah, it was, it was 550, though. I got a five. I got fifty dollars off the five hundred. No, it was no. It was a deal, bro. You did not do that. I know you. Seventy-five. No taxes. It was how much? Seventy-five. Seventy-five. I want it. I don't know what. How you would fix this thing? It just. Who wants to go to Don DeSoto? Come on. This is made out of all recycled stuff, right? direction over speed because I think that's a big thing people try to you know they get confused because you just think you have to work hard work hard work hard which that is very true but you also have to be going the right direction I'm back, back. We're, we're getting in together so you're just gonna hop in yourself okay, so what do you do for sure How was it, Jerry? It was, uh, it was really nice. I shook. I was sleeping, and I and I got my phone started ringing. I love you. Need to start dancing. I know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Bro, just go, bro. Right now, hurry up. Ooh, ooh, hold on to it. What? Yeah. Oh my God. My name is Brian Askew. I have three sons: BJ Askew, Devin Askew, and Jordan Askew. See, I've known Jared before he was born. Basically, I've known him, you know, his whole life. Wow. Well, he he was living in Sacramento, just like that's where all my boys grew up. We made the transition. We moved to Southern California. Actually, Jace was on his way anyway to go to college in San Diego. And then so it was perfect. Jared moved down to Southern California. He had, I think that's where Jared, he was always good. He was all, he, at a young age, he was always good. But his, the strides he made that eighth grade year, that summer that he, before going to Centennial, his freshman year, it was, that was the year he, he grew. I mean, skill level was always there, but he just, just became kind of what Jared has become right now. This is, that's where it all started. Wait, Jerry, where is this? This is right here. Oh, where we at? It's the packing house. All the vibes. Where is it? In Anaheim, right by Disneyland. We're so sorry to interrupt. Thank you. Bye, guys. Stare that joint. Amazon. All the way up. Every game, 17 is different. They want to interview you guys. So you guys got to be ready for that, all that media stuff. I know you guys have been handling that media stuff. Y'all know what it is. They are quiet on the side. Ooh, okay, Aaron. Yeah, My name is Jeremy King, class of 2023. I'm from the best city in the world. My hometown, Sacramento, California. You want water? Yeah. Oh, you got a Whoa. You like this type of water? You know when your hands get dirty? You don't know what to do. So, guys, um, Nate got his car towed today. Start off to a bad start. Um, four eighty, four and eight dollars for ticket. It's rough, but uh, we're gonna get through it. We're gonna power through this month, and Nick, we're gonna get through it because episode 11, a million views. Episode 13, season two, episode one, a million views. Ooh. Oh yeah, I think it's not bad. Oh yeah. Here's the Reese's. No way. Why not? Okay. Yeah, we rocking. Okay. 10, 10. That's where he go. Okay. Modern day. Okay. Some prank light. Let me see. Hold on. Talk light. You know how you get on the phone, start texting a random girl. Yeah. Like, girl calling. You're a pranker? Yeah. Because I was keen on YouTube. I started on YouTube. I was like, oh yeah. Appreciate it. I got you. I got you. Yeah. I would be a pranker though. Right? <laughs> 
It's kind of like on my uh, the shirt idea notes I gave you. Kind of all those are kind of like some of my favorite quotes. Whether it's um, slow growth, I think that's one I got from Matt Diavella. That's a big one for me. I think you can't take this journey like it's gonna come all the way quick or anything like that. You have to you know take it step by step, and um, that's one quote that I feel like resonates with me a lot. You know, writing down goals. You guys know like that's something that I live by and I do almost every day I write goals down of what I want to achieve in life so anything that has to do with dreams to reality or um, live simple dream big is one that I used to, I used to have a shirt that said that um, when I was very little I remember having that shirt but live simple dream big you know when you play a game um, your body is exhausted and you sometimes you need to rest you need to have that sleep so sometimes I had to chill out and learn that going to direction because I'm I needed rest instead of just speed, working hard, working hard, working hard, so. Yeah. Ready? I guarantee that reset every time. Pure power, you get six and then switch it out. my essay this morning. Wow. <laughs> um, well, right now, we've, like these past two weekends, I've been playing. So I have like, I'll wake up and do meditation and yoga. But Early? Like what time? Uh, like in, in um, New Orleans, I woke up at six, which was four my time though, what my body's okay. used to. For a float. Yes, sir. And then the flight. Let me catch flights. So it's hard on the West Coast, though. Mm-hmm. Because you're going to be flying in there. You can get there in the morning. Got to play that night. With no hotel room till 12. When we get in at 6 a.m. Body wash. Serum. Mask. Make sure you get some of these. Actually, no free branding. <laughs> what is that? It's teeth whitening strips. Oh. But I want to brand it with them before I advertise them. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I deserve it. It probably doesn't even look like I'm doing anything on camera. But. What is up? J Macaroni and Cheez Its. <laughs> we are back. We got Nick in the cut in the back. We're just packing. Um, just got packed. We're all packed up. I'm ready to go. I had to make sure you guys stay tuned for that one. That one's top tier. I but uh, session one came hella fast because it felt like we just finished school season, which we kind of just did. But like I haven't even played in why not uniform. My first my first time is gonna be at session one so it came really fast and it's time to it's time for another movie to start you know what i'm saying like we just like keep your books up keep them grades up uh well did do you do your homework when you're on the road oh yeah well i mean i do it in the car 
it's hard to do on the plane, but sometimes I do on the plane, but most of the time in the car, I'll get work done. Like. They don't got no business talking in the first place. We're just, you know, taking a little journey. Me and Nick are holding hands, walking. No, we're not. Uh, just chilling, you know, chilling at Terminal 5. 482, like, is that what we're doing now? What about the NLF? <laughs> NIL maker? I don't even have access to it. It's locked Word. away. Saving up, you know what I'm saying? This looks good, though. I love juice. I would like to see a bang out. I've never seen that. I boom like, I boom like all the time now. What's that PJF? In terms of any any little money I get, whether it's just for my parents for you know my birthday or something like that or for Christmas, but I, I've learned like you know when I was younger, or, I mean I'm young right now, but when I was a little bit younger, uh, I, I wanted to spend stuff. I wanted all the shoes. I mean I, I this is a product of what I've uh, spent my money on, and um, I probably shouldn't have. But now that I've watched, it's funny, I watched Matt, Matt Diavella and Ali, Ali Abdal, I believe is how you pronounce it, two of my, two of my favorite YouTubers. You kind of realize like how to save money and how to, how to invest your money, whether it's a Fidelity account or a S&P 500, anything like that, any investment account, um, you learn about that stuff. And I really got interested in that like six months ago, kind of learning like if I start investing now it's at 17, 18, I'm able to, you know, this is like triple the money that if I started investing at 25. Stand on the O, you know what I'm saying? Oh my God, I made a TikTok right there. Wait. Yeah, yeah, it was right there. That's where you came at the top on it. Yeah, yeah. Please stand clear of doors and hold onto the handrails. I'll leave the house that I'm on chain on. Four hour fight. We'll get you some Chick-fil-A. I've never tried it before. Thanks for coming to the gym. Yeah, thank you. It's the sunset. Oh, we left at uh, 6 o'clock a.m. Got up at 4 30. Got man. up at 4 o'clock and we left at 4 30. Yeah. In the O with it, man. We back finna be a movie. Just touch down, though. Just touch down on the PJ, though. Are you still on the PJ. <laughs> they are. Look at the teams. There's Walker. A5. So some ports. It's really spicy. That's why I need a bev. Yeah. What time do you guys play? Uh, 7.45. Dev? Got to. Heard you. It's a fire. We're good. It's game time, baby. Third, Let's third. get money tonight. I'm wearing Crocs. That's okay, right? There we go. How long have you been around basketball? 
long time, uh, since my oldest son is, what, 22 right now. So me and Lance, Jared's father, we started AAU program 916 Select back in the day. We had these kids going all over the country. Jared, before he moved down to Southern California, he would always say, you know, I want to I want to move down there and go to modern day like Dev and this and that. He would always come to the games when they were in town and watch. He worked out that whole summer. He was in the gym, got better. So Shay Frazee has been around every, all my family and Jared's family. He's been around all of our boys since they were young. He worked out every single one of them. And uh, first of all, he works at this. So he's working basketball, training kids all day, but he always take time for Devin. Early in the morning, 5.36, he'd be in the gym with Devin. So he would do his stuff. And then later on at night after school, He'd be in the gym with Devin, you know, 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night in modern day. Just Jared, see that? Jared did see that. Jared, when Jared was around it, he was in the gym with Devin. But like that just translated into when Jared got down here, that's exactly what Jared did. In the gym with Shay three times a week, even though he lives in Corona and Shay lives in Orange County. If there's traffic, it could take anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half. But you know, they do PJF, they go to Shay. So it's a full day. I mean, it's, and when you're talking about driving out to Paul, you know, that could take Jared two hours. So he's getting up there in, you know, six o'clock in the morning, doing his routine, driving out to Paul, then Paul to Shea. That's an everyday routine. Want me to interview you? Snake, interview while you guys walk out because yeah, yeah. you guys are in a rush. All right, awesome. It, it's like a selfie kind of thing. thing. Jerry McCain, right? Yep. Don't write anything. Why? Don't shake the Polaroid. So never shake the Polaroid. Never shake. You was a push up, huh? You must. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Yeah, this is the part that goes in the edits on TikTok. Me walking and smiling. I don't really care. Uh. The mic keeps getting in the way of the kid. How's it? Oh, I didn't see your hand, bro. That was moving on its own. <laughs> You got the key to the piece. I mix. Screw, screw. Like, look, bro. My leg is entirely stuck here. Um, not really. Yes. Not entirely. Bro. I'm like, Obviously I'm, I'm pulling right my now. bag out. Obviously, the you're end. moving, so you're not entirely bro, this stuck. This is not. You bro. can just step out the door. It's right there. My foot is here. It's not stuck. You just move your foot out. God. <laughs> I mean, I knew it was gonna come, but I didn't think, I didn't think hate was gonna be so big in, in my like journey and stuff like that. Just cause I felt like the stuff I put out was so positive and I don't, like I don't react to stuff on the court usually. Like I don't really do much that would trigger someone to hate me, but yeah, they, st they still came and uh, the haters, you know, at, 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 at the beginning, it definitely got to me a bit. You know, I had to stop like looking at comments and stuff, but. Now I'm kind of used to it, just getting used to all this stuff. But yeah, hate was definitely something I didn't really expect because I, you know, I thought everything I put out was just positive. And
support you, whatever you choose, Aaron. <laughs> That's right. Then will be like, yeah, you could, you know, get a degree in computer science, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely think about MBA. That, that one's like. So it's not for sure. No, it's definitely not for sure. It depends on like how I'm feeling, you know. There's definitely a lot of things that could happen. I thought I'd be here. I'll tell you that right now. Be here. Yeah, because he didn't think that he would be playing with EY Bill, EY Bill, you know? I mean, but he's been good his whole life. No, not that part of it, just because not traveling even. with this, I don't know, I he's not, I can see he, he doesn't like to leave home, put yeah. it that way. Oh, like CIF? Huh? CIF this year? Um, yeah, because they got pieced by Richardson. <laughs> Bro, why did he keep doing it? It was a public school. <laughs> Would you guys have beat him? Would Centennial beat Richardson? Yeah. Case and Wallace was a little different. That's your league. Yeah, we have to play it. That's what I'm saying. Of course, you we're guys don't have to play that. We're saving a blowout, but I would. That's how I won. know we'd win. If you don't say we get blowouts, I know we. You guys win. Well, not a blowout. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got a forty piece by a public school. And every time we try and go, we got forty piece. <laughs> oh my god. They all love Sacramento. That's like that's what they claim. But they all live in Southern California now. They love they love LA. They love SoCal. But Sacramento is their home. But being up north, to Sac there's so many more opportunities in Southern California. In what way is like uh, the basketball? The basketball side of it is just you know there's so so many good players, so many good high schools. You know that's that's in in Northern California. It's a little it's a little different. You know it's. It's a lot harder, you know, to get to get recognized and all that. Everything you wanted is on the other side of winning. One bad play for winners doesn't become two and three. It's one. Now you're down, and you got a chance to dispel it. You understand me? You got to compete harder. We got to get through this. Woe is me. Sh Making shots does not make us play hard. Play hard because it's the right thing to do. It shouldn't be no easy. Oh, it's got to be some effort and no. some intensity. Oh, intensity on three. One, two, three. Intensity. Let's go. Oh. 